Today, I'm going to share with you guys how to get this unique lens distort look that you guys are seeing on screen right now. All inside of Adobe Premiere Pro for completely free, no paid plugins, no paid presets, all free. Before we go ahead and get inside today's tutorial, I'll let you guys know that my name is Chris Busted and I run the Takeover Shop, where it's editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. And if you guys want, go ahead, follow me on Instagram, check out, you know, my lifestyle, what I'm up to day to day as a full time creative. Anyways, without the way, let's go ahead and get straight into Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is the video that we're actually working with. It's a very simple, just sort of showcase of a MacBook. Um, I'm honestly probably not going to post this video, but it's just good to show you guys. So first things first, what you guys want to go ahead and do is you guys want to go to your media bin and you guys want to go to new item and adjustment layer, or you guys could just click over here somewhere uh, in like the dead space. If there is any um, like this new item adjustment layer, and then go ahead and hit okay go ahead and drag that adjustment layer above the clips that you want to affect so if you want to affect the text you can affect the text as well you just got to drag it all the way up here but if you don't and go ahead just drag it above the actual like background footage now again this is a very simple effect i'm going to show you kind of different ways to sauce it up but this is the main element is going over here to the effects tab typing in lens lens distortion drag and drop the adjustment layer and then here's what you can do okay you guys can really just go ahead and mess with the curvature this is actually what i did for the intro there's so many different things you can't really mess with like i think just negative 28 that looks pretty solid it just adds like a weird kind of like just strange sort of warp effect and you could go really intense with it like just something absurd like this for just a very unique look and i think this could actually be a very cool effect like maybe on like more of a creative piece but i think something super subtle like that just really makes it look interesting and maybe will you know potentially get people asking like yo what is this effect uh, what'd you do to it etc now there's also like this weird like side to side sort of thing um let's just go ahead Oops, it. but personally i don't know what you'd really use that for other than maybe a overlay of some sort which actually let's go ahead and try that let's just do let's just play around and i'll just see what kind of effect we can get so i'm actually going to add the effect here to this just one clip just like that i'm going to nest these two together and then i'm going to go ahead and do a blend mode of maybe screen or darken maybe No, that looks bad. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm going to go ahead and add track. Let's go ahead and just move this over just like that. And then I'm going to nest these two, but I'm going to duplicate this one first. So I'm going to nest this just so that way the adjustment layer only affects this track down below because I want it to be a foreground element. I think it'd be really cool. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and do uncheck the unfill alpha. So that way it's like clear video behind it, or at least it should be. Um, I think it is. So we're going to right click nest these just like that. There we go. That's actually exactly what I was looking for. And then maybe we can add like a blur and this could be kind of like a recreation of a uh, like prism lens effect or something like that. Something just like and maybe we just scale it up and maybe we go over here like so just like this maybe. This is like an interesting sort of look, maybe even turn the opacity down a bit just so it almost looks like some weird like glint or something. Let's see what this looks like. Let's turn it up a bit more. Let's just see. So it looks kind of interesting. Maybe we go ahead and change the opacity to screen. I think screen, I think that's actually pretty cool. It kind of creates like a dope little like unique um, light flare almost. Wait, that's actually kind of hard. We just play like that. Wait, yo, that's actually crazy. Okay, I'm definitely using this in, uh, I'm definitely using this effect in new videos. I literally just created that like from scratch, just messing around. So that's why it's super important as like a video editor. Um, like I was literally just recording a tutorial, but I found a new effect that I'm gonna be using in new videos. So if you guys wanna go ahead and use this second effect, bonus effect, go ahead, check it out. Pretty fire actually. I'm actually really stoked we ended up making that. That's pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, so essentially go to the lens distort, apply whatever curvature you want, and then uh, export the video. Super easy, really easy tutorial today. Just wanted to play around and just really experiment. If you guys enjoyed sort of the experimentation, let me know down below and I'll continue just, you know, maybe experimenting a little bit more, you know, showing you guys more raw videos of me editing. But anyways, guys, that is it for me today. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Feel free to go ahead and watch the video on screen right now as it's honestly 
pretty fire. Tons of sauce in that video. Go ahead, watch it. Anyways, remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.